What's up, guys? Rob here from Alive Entertainment. I'm hanging out here in the studio with Andrew Foy. Andrew, you're about to make a breakthrough in your career because you're about to go from being the guitarist we see on YouTube to now being the full-blown artist, about to release a debut single. Tell me, like, what your transition is from being on the screen to now actually being here in the studio and creating music for your audience. It's way different because I would just, you know, do YouTube videos in my room. Like everything would be my room, and now it's just so so much bigger than that. Right. There's a lot more things that goes into it. It's it's crazy. Now, as as we like, as you initially started your career, like with with your guitar covers that you you've been doing, you know, how did you really get started with YouTube? Like everybody has a reason for why they started that passion or that you know that that avenue or that career of theirs. What was yours? Well, my dad thought it would be a good idea to just post a video of me playing guitar on YouTube for fun. Uh, he's the one that got me into guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, he bought me a guitar when I was nine, and uh, I just he just kept kept helping me ever since. And uh, yeah, he was the one that told me to post on YouTube. It was really bad, it, but um, I'm glad he did because I'm still posting now, and uh, we've been posting ever since. Yeah. Right now, one thing that kind of puts you in front of everybody else that's out there like playing guitar or like even just doing covers on YouTube is that your guitar skills are pretty insane. Thank you. <laughs> like, Thank you. Um, how did you how did you learn to play the guitar the way that you do? Because it's not anything basic. Oh no. Um, so what I did is I copied a lot of people. I copied like for a straight three years just copying people's covers and then I started arranging my own. Mm -hmm. So that really gave me the skills necessary to do what I do now. And then I've just been getting better every day, I think. Right. And as you as you're doing your covers, um, you know, you call it finger style yes. on YouTube. How do you I mean, how do you really make it your own? What what what's the process behind making that new cover every time? Well, I just uh, listen to a song or on repeat over and over again. And I just um, once I have the basic structure of it, I just add like little embellishments that like are me. Right. And uh, I'll just do that for the entire song and uh, try to make it more personal because it is a cover. So I do want to make it like a part of me as well. Right. Now that kind of like taught you how to create your own music in a way. Yes, I um, can, yeah. So, you know, coming into the studio for the first time to create your own original track, you know, what was that experience like for you? And it, did it just seem like another, you were coming in for another cover again because you've already been doing that in a sense. I, I actually, it was way different. It, I, I could not have um, prepared for it, but uh, I, I did love it actually. Uh, it was way different, but um, it was still a good experience, mm -hmm. definitely. Uh, not as hard as I thought, I guess. Uh, it was just fun. All right, guys, I'm super excited because Front Row Live has the exclusive on Andrew Foy's lead single, and it's called Make Your Move. And it's coming out real soon. What can we expect for this track? Uh, it's very unique to myself. Uh, it's got like a Charlie Puth meets Troy Sivan kind of feel. Uh, and there's a, a ton of like guitar breaks in it, so uh, it's definitely got a lot of uh, me in it. Why was this song the one uh, for your audience to hear for the first time? Uh, well, I really love the energy of the song. It's super fun. It's like a great uh, song by person. I think it's like amazing. Uh, so I just want to show them what I've like done in the studio with all these writers, and um, I think it'd be a great experience. I, I want to show them this side of me as an artist. When you went into the studio to create the song, like producers that you worked with, uh, co-writers that you worked with, who did you end up working with? And you know, what were those, what was that chemistry like for, uh, when you guys, you know, met and started working for the first time? So for this song, I was working with Jason and Nika and they, their energy, their chemistry together was amazing. And uh, I definitely fit in fairly well, I think. I was uncomfortable, you know, for the first, uh, you know, 10 minutes because I was still getting to know these strangers because I never met them. And after a time, we just got become really comfortable, and uh, it was easy to work with them. Now, how do you feel about your writing um, as you are doing it for the first time ever? Like, do you feel like you were pretty good at at the writing? Do you feel like you have a lot of work to do? I have a lot of work to do. I think I, I am just started this. Uh, I have many, many years of like experience that I still need. Right. Uh, this is just the beginning. This is like the very beginning. Right. Listening to that snippet that you gave me, your voice is incredible. Um, and I was also mentioning before the interview, you did a cover of Khalid um, a while back, yeah. and I wasn't sure if that was actually Khalid on there or it was you, but that's actually your voice. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about your singing. Like I, you know, I'm 
looking at your channel, I see more guitar driven stuff, but I don't really get to hear your voice that much. So, you know, it's exciting that you know how to sing and it's exciting to hear your voice. It's something different. But tell me about it. Tell me about how you kind of learned to sing. Well, I would just be in my room and, you know, being a guitarist, you know, it kind of goes hand in hand singing and playing guitar. Uh, so I've been just doing it for a little bit and uh, I'm learning every day. I'm getting better every day. Uh, it's definitely been a great experience. Yeah. Now here's the question that everybody wants to know. When is the single going to drop? Because I know your fans are anxious. I know you've been teasing them about it for the last couple months. Yeah. So, you know, when can we expect Make Your Move to drop? It is coming out very soon. This is the last Here we go day. with the teasing. Here we go with the teasing. This is our last day in the studio, finishing up vocals, and then we're going to release it as soon as possible. Okay, so for those that don't know anything about Andrew Foy, what is Andrew Foy all about? I am a fingerstar guitarist that is just getting into original music. I've been on YouTube for six years, and I'm super excited to show you guys what's happening. All right, dude. Well, I'm super excited. Make Your Move drops real soon, as he said it right here, right now on Front Row Live. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check them out, and that's it for now.